Hey guys, welcome to my latest video. I am currently inside the Novotel Shenzhen Watergate Hotel and I've just recently come back from uh, the uh, Shenzhen uh, computer shops and I've been doing some shopping for more Arduino kits because if you go to Shenzhen you can get the equipment at really good wholesale prices. Uh, it's really amazing what you can buy for the price. So without further ado, Let's take a look at what we have uh, right in front of us. So you can see we have uh, two big plastic boxes. This is a, these are storage containers and we have a plastic bag right here. So I actually want to, um, let's just take, these two are actually identical. So what we'll do is we'll take out, let's take the wrapping off this, excuse me. See, the box has a handle. I bought a box like this because um, over time, I, as I bought more Arduino kits, the need for uh, more container space was necessary. So because of the fact I'm actually increasing my Arduino connect, uh, collections, I um, need to have more storage. So these are more than ideal, uh, except, and also, the difference between the one I have before is this one is an orange box, okay, and uh, it has a handle. So we can open it like this, and we'll take this bit out. All right, it's got two compartments inside the box. Uh, there's a, a top part where you can, you have these subdividers which, uh, which you can put down. You can put all different types of pieces uh, in these boxes in these compartments more like. Uh, down here you can uh, you can change the uh, subdivisions. You've got these little pieces, you can put them together uh, any way you see fit. All right, so I'm not gonna spend too much time doing that. So I'm going to actually close that and then just latch the two bits here. Excuse me. Oops. Sorry, I've got to just, uh, I've got to make sure this shuts properly so bits are not sticking out all right all right that'll do okay so we'll put those two boxes aside and uh, let's take a look at what's inside this bag so I'll just tell you basically how much I spent on this stuff so if you equate this to Hong Kong dollars um, I spent just over 600 Hong Kong dollars uh, on everything in this bag alone. Uh, these two boxes uh, cost about 120 RMB, so uh, roughly you're looking at about 150 Hong Kong dollars for these two uh, boxes. So altogether, you're kind of looking at 750 Hong Kong dollars for all this kit. Now, what's inside this uh, plastic red bag? Let's take a look. So what I've done, in no particular order of relevance, we have another Arduino upgraded learning kit. This is very useful if you are, are a newbie to Arduino and you have no idea where to begin. This is a very good way. So if I open this, right, it's got your breadboard, you've got LED lights, you've got switches and transistors and speakers and yeah seven segment display right there and it even gives you a list of everything that's inside the upgraded upgraded learning kit I can't give you the exact price of everything because I'm only telling you what the total was but uh, this was just like no no more than say 150 Hong Kong dollars it's such a bargain uh, you get a breadboard as well and you get an um, Arduino Uno board, which is really great. And, sorry, the lighting's not so good. And there are other pieces that you can get. And you also have a connection cable, USB type A, and all sorts of stuff. You also get these LCD panels as well, but the main thing about this is if you want to get this to work, you have to take the um, pins and you have to literally solder the pins to the board. I have a soldering iron at home, 
with uh, a good amount of solder. I, I mean, obviously I can't do it now, but uh, you have to actually solder these to the board. But anyway, I've done about three of those and I've tried it and uh, it works quite well. All right, so that's the starter kit. So let's put that back. Sorry, the lighting's not so great here, so uh, please forgive me if uh, it does seem a little dark. So we've got an um, upgraded learning kit or a starter kit. Bought a five inch LCD display. What I uh, would like to try to do, I would like to do a project on um, touch screens. If you've seen some of my previous YouTube videos and even some of my Instagram videos, I was working on a project uh, for a self-opening box, like similar to this, you know, I put my hand and it opens. Oh, it's got a CD. <laughs> yeah, a CD, what would you know? Ah, there's the screen. Wow. Wow, a five inch, oh, it's HDMI. Wow, HDMI display, look, and you can also use micro USB to do the connection. Not that I know how to connect this thing, but I guess I will find out at some point. Uh, this is a touch screen and it's five inch. This costs a little bit of money, but I do think it's a good investment and I have no idea what this is. Some kind of, uh, I guess it's an HDMI. So as you plug it in like that, and then that plugs into the HDMI port of some other device. You could use it for Raspberry Pi, I think. Who knows? I thought of buying a Raspberry Pi, but I've decided I want to focus on Arduino. And maybe in the future I'll consider investing into Raspberry Pi, but uh, first things first. So let's just put all this together. A CD. Why would they give you a CD? Document driver image software. Oh, it's a DVD. 4.7 gigabyte, 120 minute multi speed. Oh, yes, I'll bet. Oh, it's an actual pressed glass DVD. Oh, it's not one of those burned DVDs that you get like for so many years. But then again, how often do you see DVDs or optical, uh, optical discs? All right, so <laughs> look how no frills that is. Five inch LCD display. Anyway, All right, let's move on. What else have we got in this treasure trove? Let's take a look. Ah, we've got some ultrasonic sensors. So I have two at home. No, actually I have one at home, one on the uh, box I have at school and I've bought four more. So ultrasonic sensors. These were very, very cheap. So I figured, okay, why not just get four? So, All right, so ultrasonic sensor, we'll just take one out of the bag. Or should we take them all out? Mm. Okay, let's just take them all out. Let's put the uh, plastic bag aside. So, okay, there you go, ultrasonic sensors. So one, two, three, and four. We might as well take the TFT display out or the LCD display. Let's take that out. I'm not going to take the wrapping off. I'll just leave it uh, leave it be like this. Okay, there we go. Okay, ultrasonic sensor. Let's close the box. Now let's. What else have we got? Um, oh, these are um, Arduino Uno motor shield. Uh, actually, you can use them in almost any board. You can use the Mega board, uh, the Uno board. I'm not sure about the Leonardo, but this is the uh, motor shield. What you do is you take uh, an Arduino board. So for example, if I open up the uh, learning kit and I grab the uh, Arduino Uno board. So we'll just take this. All right, so I'm, I'll literally take this out of the packet and take this out. Okay, so this is an Arduino Uno board, front and back. Now, if we wanted to connect like motors and things to this board, what we do is we can uh, use the motor shield and we can connect, we just sandwich it on the top. You've got to make sure you align the pins in the right place. You know, you have no idea how many times I get this wrong. Um, so let's see, I've just kind of got to align this. Um, yeah, it should be, hang on got to 
should be something like this. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so then what you would do is you would uh, get your DC motors and so forth, and you would plug them uh, into these bits here. So, and then you can plug this into Arduino IDE, and you can program the direction of the motors and and so forth. Yeah, sorry, one of the pins is bent. So I'll just. You can also plug your micro servos or your servos on these pins here. Okay, so I have two of those. So there's another one in a packet, and there's one here okay, with the uh, Arduino Uno, and I'll just detach those from each other, and I'll put that up there. Uh, okay, so I'll, I'll, I'll put that there, and put that there also. Okay, good. Let's put this aside. All right, what else have we got? Uh, we also have, wow, this is uh, quite remarkable. Um, We've got some servos. These are not the really cheap uh, plastic blue micro servos that you get. These are supposed to be metal servos. Hang on, sorry, these are not servos. These are DC motors, but we'll get to that in a moment. These are the micro servos. So they are dark color. So I was told that these are metal. They're about 12 to 15 Hong Kong dollars each. They're like double the price of the plastic servo, but they are supposed to be stronger. So that's what the micro servo looks like. Okay. Yep, that's what the micro servo looks like. So it's supposed to be all metal. At least this bit's metal. It's not plastic, it's metal, so it's stronger. Because I find that some of these plastic servos, they do break quite easily. If you apply too much force to them and so forth, and you, you try to force the gears into position, it, it breaks so easily. So you have to be very careful. I've never tried uh, this servo before, so it'll be interesting to find out how it works. But that's, yeah. So I've I got four of these. Yep, got four of these. So let's put that back. Um, I'm not going to take it out of the bag, I'm just going to put it back in. So, right, we have uh, servos, so four servos. Now, um, just, I'm going to put that red bag out of the way. Now, I've also purchased some mini DC motors. These are also the kind of motors you get with those mini four-wheel drive Tamiya cars. We used to play those, play with those when uh, we were at primary school. Like, all the kinds of names that you associate with these motors is, is crazy. Like Ultra Dash, Z Dash, Hyper Dash, Plasma Dash, all that stuff. Yeah, so this is what uh, I use for the Bristlebot. Uh, the reason why I'm buying more is because uh, one of the metal parts uh, snapped off. So, yeah, you can plug this to the, uh, say, the motor shield. Right, so let's say if these two were sandwiched together, I could uh, put these two together. All right, get my cables, plug it in, right? Yeah, with the cables and you can control the direction and so forth all right so uh we have six of these these are dirt cheap i mean it's amazing how cheap you can get these for all right what else is in this bag and what else have we got ah yes ah yes i wanted to uh I'm really interested in this one. Okay, well, we'll take a look at this one in just a moment. So, what's this? These are, I believe, Arduino Nanos. This is basically like a really small version of an Arduino board. Right, so I think we're good. So, if this is an Arduino Uno board, this is an Arduino Nano, so you can tell the difference in size. And this is particularly attractive, I find, uh, if you are going to be making, let's say, uh, a mini box, or you want to make some mini product that doesn't, you don't want to use too much space, that this would be quite uh, useful. Okay, and uh, you can see the connector. It's a mini USB connector, not micro USB, mini USB. The, it's slightly different to micro. I've never ever tried one of these before, but I figured if I'm going to make another uh, self-opening mini box, 
Might as well use this instead of this because this is pretty huge and this would fit in the box a lot better. So I'm, I'm looking forward to trying this one. Don't know how powerful it will be. I don't know how it compares in speed, but uh, I suppose we'll find out in the future how that fares. Okay, let's put this, uh, put this back. So that's uh, one Arduino Nano and um, I have four of those. I do have four of those. Yeah, so there's three in a pack, uh, in packets, and one here. So we'll just dump that there. We'll dump that there. And we'll clean this all up later. Right, DC motors. We're still not through. We still got a bit more to go. <laughs> ah, now this is good. These are Arduino cameras. Uh, bag's a bit funny, but uh, trying to open this. So. I'd like to make a robot that has a camera that could take photos and and so forth. I mean, this is a an Arduino camera. Uh, sorry, I don't know if the I'm not sure about the lighting, but this is a camera. And yeah, if you open it, you've got the lens. It's got a lens cap, and you can see the pins. I'm looking forward to trying this one. And I have two of them, so let's put that aside. So little Arduino camera. Let's put that aside. Right, let's, let's toss that aside. Now let's uh, see what else is inside the bag. Uh, a DIY car kit. I don't want to spend too much time actually opening this. Uh, I've already bought one, but this will um, give you everything you need if you want to make a quick Arduino car. So you've got some wheels, tires, uh, you've got two motor uh, gear motors, compartment for battery, you've got uh, a screwdriver, uh, a caster wheel, a chassis, it's an acrylic chassis, and there's even an instruction guide inside, a paper instruction guide. And I think there's a, a switch, but I can't seem to locate it, but never mind. And a couple of screws here and there, but okay, that is a do-it-yourself car. Very cool. Right, um, speaking of switches, I had an issue when I was making the Bristlebot was I did not have enough switches because one of my students made a Bristlebot and I made one, but uh, we only had one switch between the two bots. So uh, I decided to go to another shop and buy these uh, flip switches. So got like five of these in a bag. And I also figured, you know, why not go and try this switch as well? So. I don't know how effective this will be, but um, yeah, the voltage might be a little higher for this one, but uh, yeah, you can see little switch, big switch. So five uh, each, F I mean five of, of each. Okay, so we'll put that there. All right, jumper wires. Yep, jumper wires. I would say that for my Arduino experience, Try to get as many of these as you can. Try to get as many of these as you can in different lengths because uh, if you only rely on what's in the starter kit or the upgraded kit, you're gonna run out really fast. Uh, what you should do is you can get out, you can get um, say female to female, you can get um, uh, female to male or male to female. I mean, this one's quite short, but okay. And you can also get male to male. And great thing about this, like say, if you don't want to have all the cables lumped together, you simply just remove it, okay, like that. And of course, if you want to, if you want to connect it to motors, you could, you could like just snip the cable, uh, strip the wire and just connect it to the motor. You can solder it as well, but I like the option of taking, I like the option of um, removing and applying uh, whenever I see fit. The solder is kind of like gives you the impression that everything has to be permanent. But anyway, uh, enough talk about that. So let's put the uh, jumper wire bits here. And uh, this one we've just removed. Okay, what else have we got? Ah, right. I think that's everything inside the bag except for one thing. We have another screen. This is another touch screen, similar to this one, but this one is smaller. We have a smaller one, so uh, it's even got the name 
on it. It's a 2.4 inch Uno module, uh, 8 bit, it's got touch, and uh, 240 by 320 screen. Right, well, let's have a look at the other screen. I'm interested to see what the resolution is. Does it, is there a manual or something? Let's just take a look. I mean, this doesn't really tell us much. So let's, uh, I don't have an optical drive, so I can't, you know, I can't read the manual, sadly. I didn't ask what the resolution was for the five inch display. I would assume that the resolution must be double. So, I mean, if this one, this is just my theory, I suppose I'll find out later, but um, I assume if this is a 240 by 320, all right, this could be like a 480 by 640, 640 by 480. I don't know, who knows? We'll find out later. Because I'm thinking VJ resolution, but anyway, don't matter. So let's uh, just open this. Oh. It has a stylus. Oh, right. I didn't realize that. It's a stylus. Oh, okay. All right. Um, I'm just trying to work out how to open this thing. Uh, <laughs> how do you open this? Like, usually they snip a bit off, but... Uh, sorry, guys. Just give me a moment. All right. Sorry, I had to... I had to rip this bag open slightly. I know it's not the best practice, but I want to get this done quickly. So let's take a look. So let's take the screen out of the bag. And I did say there is a stylus, and if it's a touch screen, it does make sense. Wow, a stylus. <laughs> that is so cool. All right, so stylus screen do you put them side by side that's what it looks like all right let's turn this around so there's a space i think that's um is that a sim card reader or sd card reader or something it's a flash card reader of some sort um, all right these are the connection pins yep 2.4 inch TFT LCD shield. Now, if it's a shield, it means that you should be able to just attach it straight onto the, uh, the Uno board, similar to how we use the motor shield. So anything with shield, we just sandwich it on. So, and it's so convenient. It really saves a lot of trouble. Ah, so, okay, so we have to, so I'm not doing this right, am I? Let's see, how do we do this? I think that's what we do. Yeah, let's, we sandwich this. Um, there might be a plastic film I need to take off, but we'll leave we'll leave it there for now. I think just make sure it's down securely. I think that's it. Again, not that I know. I'll have to try it later. This does not come with any instruction guide. You normally have to Google everything to get to the instructions. This is all I bought for about 750 Hong Kong dollars. So this is Arduino, and I look forward to doing all kinds of projects with this stuff. So thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you soon. Take care and goodbye.